Hey, this is Toby, and in this video I will show you how to use the optimization feature of the MetaTrader 5 strategy tester so you get results like this one here for yourself. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first of all, what is a optimization and why do we want to optimize our strategy? So if you take a look at a strategy, most of the time a strategy has multiple input parameters. If you take a look at this strategy here, we got an input for the stop loss, for the take profit, for the range start and so on. So you have multiple inputs and of course you can change them manually and do a single backtest for each combination. But with the optimization feature, you can run multiple tests in a short period of time and you're basically looking for the best combination of input parameters for your strategy. And of course, you hope that this combination is also working great in the live market. But I have to say the best combination is not always the combination that gives you the most profit, for example. Okay, so now let's take a look how to start a optimization with the MetaTrader 5 strategy tester. So of course, first of all, you have to start the strategy tester. You can just click on view strategy tester or on the green symbol here. And the first tab you want to look at is the settings tab. So here you can, of course, select your expert advisor you want to use for the optimization. And for this video, I will select the time range EA. We have coded this EA here on the channel in the previous videos. So if you are interested, you can build this EA for yourself. Um, I will link the first part up here. Okay, next, of course, we need to select the symbol for the um, optimization. For this test, I will go with the US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see here, it's a custom symbol. So I've created the symbol and I have imported my own historical data. So I do this because then I have control over the data quality and I also implement the live spread from my broker into my historical data. So the backtest or the optimization and later the live market conditions are pretty much the same. So in my opinion, if you want to do good backtests, good um, optimizations, the first step is to create your own symbols and make sure your data quality is um, good. So how to do this? I have already made uh, videos about this topic. I will also link them up here. Okay, so after you have selected your symbol, of course, you can select the time frame. Um, I will go with the five minute time frame. And next, of course, you can select your time period here. Um, I always use the custom period and I will start this optimization in 2012 up to 2018. If you use your broker symbol, of course, you have to check if the history is available for these years and why I don't go all the way to the latest uh, history here for the end date. It's just because I use the latest years of history for a out of sample test. Of course, this out of sample test, you can um, automate it with this option here, the forward test, but I always do it manually. Okay, so you can set your latency. I don't use this option at all. Of course, you have to select and set your um, commission correctly for the optimization. I also did a video about custom symbol backtests. Um, I will link it up here where I also show you how I set the commission for my custom symbols. And next we got the modeling mode. So here you can select which ticks are used for your optimization and backtests. I always go with the open price only mode um, because I don't have tick data for MetaTrader 5. I use um, one minute bars only and I only trade on the open tick of the new bar. I think that's enough for day trading strategies and of course you need to control for the open tick in your expert advisor. Here in the time range EA we don't have um, such a function so we will run the optimization on the open price only mode and later the final backtest we will also check on every tick mode. Okay. So next here, this option, I never use this option uh, to calculate my profit in, in pips. You can set this if you want. 
Then we got the deposit here. Um, I always start with 100k. You can select your currency, your leverage. And now down here, you can select if you want to do a single backtest or a optimization. So you have these four options here. Um, the slow complete algorithm. With this option, your optimization will look at every possible combination of input parameters. You also have a fast generic um, algorithm. With this option, you get a much faster result, but you may not get the best um, combination from all the possible um, input combinations. And the last option here, you can test with all um, market watch symbols. I never use this option, but you can try it out. But of course, for this video, we will choose the second option. So we go with the slow complete algorithm to look through all the combinations of our inputs. And here you can select now the custom criteria after which your results are ranked. So if you select balance max, for example, the best result is um, the result with the yeah, most profit. And of course, there are also other options you can pick. Um, you can also code a custom criteria, but this has to be coded into your EA. So for this uh, video, we just go with a balance max criteria here. And now we have all the settings and we can go to the next tab, which is the input tab. Okay, so here we got all the inputs from our EA. And this of course depends on the expert advisor you have selected here. So we use the time range breakout EA. We have coded uh, in the previous videos. So we got these inputs here. So we can see the magic number, the lot size and so on. And now if you take a look at the left side, at the left side of each input is a checkbox. And if you check this checkbox here, you can see you can edit now the start, step and stop value of this input. If you have not checked this um, checkbox here, you cannot uh, edit uh, these values. And this just means that during the optimization, this parameter here, lot size, will stay at one. So it's fixed. And if you select the input here, um, the optimization will shift the value for the stop loss in this case from 50 and with a step of 50. So it will start with 50. Next would be 100, 150 and 200 is the last value because here it's 200 for the stop value. And you can also see here at the far right, the number of steps for this input. So of course, if I change this to for example, 400, you can see now we got eight steps. Okay, and you can select each input you want to optimize and you can select the start, step and stop value for each input. Okay, so now for this optimization here with our time range EA, I will select the stop loss with a step start of 50, step of 50 and stop of 200. I will select the take profit. We will start at zero, also a step of 50 and stop is 300. And as you may remember from the coding videos, zero means no take profit. So we will also have combinations where we have no take profit active. But we start at 50 at the stop loss because we always want a stop loss. Okay, next the range inputs. I will select the start time. Um, these are min minutes after midnight. I will start at 60 for the range start time. Step is also 60, so one hour and end is 300. I will also select the range end um, starting at 60 uh, minutes for the range. Step is 60 and is also 300. Now the close time, I will just set it to 1200. Um, where we will just close all the trades in the evening. The breakout mode, I will select one breakout per range. And now we have the day of week filter. We can just select every um, 
day here for the day of week filter. And of course we switch from false here to true. Okay, so now we have selected all the input we want to change and test in the optimization. And now down here you can see, or can you cannot see, I will just move this down a little bit. So here are the number of combinations um, we will test in this optimization. And of course, if you select more input parameters, this number will go up pretty fast. So I always advise to reduce the number of inputs to a minimum because you will also run into over optimization and curve fitting, but that's a topic for another video. Okay, so if you have done all the inputs, you can just press start and the optimization will start. Okay, so if the optimization is done, um, of course this may take a while depending on your PC, we can take a look at the results. So first of all, we take a look at the optimization results tab here. So here we can see all the combinations um, in a list. So you get the result here, the profit, the total trades and additional statistical like metrics um, for each optimization run. And of course here on the right side, you also see the inputs. Okay, and if you do right click, you can add additional um, statistical metrics and also you can filter the list here. So if you don't want to see zero trades um, results or if you only want to see profitable um, optimization runs, for example, you can just add a filter. Okay, but we not only get this list here, as you can see here, we also get a new graph for each um, optimization where the results are visualized for us. So let me just expand this here. And here we can see each run and depending of course on the result, it's a green or a red dot. So this is the result graph. So if you do right click, you can also select the 1D graph. And here you can see for one parameter, the results. So this is here the input stop loss. And you can see all the runs with input stop loss 50. And these are all the runs with input stop loss 100 and so on. Of course, you can change the parameter you are seeing here on the X axis by right clicking, go on X axis and select, for example, range start. And now you can see um, each run with a range start of 60, of 120 and so on. Okay, so now let's take a look at the 2D graph. And here again, you can see one parameter here on the X axis and another one here on the Y axis. So it's basically a checkboard pattern graph and you can spot any area where the two inputs here are pretty much stable. Of course, you can select um, which input you want to be displayed on the axis, X and Y axis. And here also the green means a good result and the white color here means a bad result. Okay, so let's take a look at the 3D graph. So I like this visualization very much. Um, you also get your two inputs here and you can change them, right click, X axis, Y axis but you can spot uh, stable areas pretty fast. So of course you always want a stable strategy and you don't want to pick only the best uh, performing optimization run or a run that is pretty much close to the edge. But creating stable strategies will also be a topic for one of the next videos. And of course you should always look at different inputs. Um, so we can also select, for example, the stop loss and take profit here. And of course, if you have more than two or three parameters, it's nearly impossible to look for stable areas in all dimensions. So uh, with my own EA, the master EA, I have a setting where I can just automate this process and take a look at four or even five or more inputs at the same time in every, basically every dimension. And then I, of course, get the, the most stable result 
of a optimization. Okay, now if we have found our best result, um, the most stable result with also a good uh, performance, for this video, we just pick the top one here right now. So we can go to the optimization results tab and we can run a single backtest with these inputs here. So the inputs for the best run here is a stop loss of 200% of the range, no take profit, a range start at 180 minutes after midnight, a two hour range, and we only do the range on Tuesday and Thursday and Friday. Okay, so let's just make a right click and click on run single test. And now we can see the strategy tester does a single back test for this um, input combination. And now of course our test ends in 2018. But of course, if we are happy with the results, uh, we can now select the whole period. So also the latest uh, history and we can run another test to see how the strategy performs um, with basically new data because the last years we have not used for our optimization. And this new data is basically like new data from the live market. So we can see we have optimized until here, end of 2018. And this performance here is a out of sample test. Okay, now before I apply such a strategy uh, on the live market, of course, I would do another optimization where I start, for example, in 2015, all the way up to today. Okay, so that's how you use the optimization feature of the MetaTrader 5 strategy tester. It's a very powerful tool if you use it the right way. And as you may have noticed, there's much more to it than just picking the best result here from your optimization table. Um, but I will make videos about stable strategy development in the future. So if you don't want to miss that, you can subscribe to my channel. And if this video was helpful for you, in this case, it would be nice if you just leave a like. If you have a question about automated trading, about this optimization process or about coding expert advisors, you can write a comment or you can always write me through my website or via Telegram. Okay, so I will see you in one of the next videos. Bye.